And even if they try to ambush my apparition, I can abrade the creature. Yes! Plus one, plus one. Who harms my people must contend with me. Wow. What's up, Jamers? It's the one, Jame, and today we're playing one of my favorite archetypes, Boros Midrange. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've played a lot of Boros Midrange in Historic, so we're going to try it out in Standard today. We have an aggressively slanted Midrange deck with a lot of interaction, and that's how I like to do it. We have, we're a Snarl Gamer today, actually. We have Fury Calm, Calm Snarls in here. But we have Hopeful Initiate and Kumano Faces Kakazan, I think, are two of the best one-drops in Standard. We have... Lumark Aspirin, of course, has an aggressive threat, but literally everything else interacts with our opponent. And I mean everything besides, like, Fable the Beer Breaker. We have Thalia, a Braid, Rip Apart, Elite Spellbinder, Raydane, Skyclad Apparition. Of course, this Fable of Mirror Breaker that can copy all those cards anyway, besides Raydane and Thalia. We have Wandering Emperor, Showdown on the Skulls, and Volatile Arsonist, which can kill our opponent's um, stuff as well and just be a huge menacey haster. But anyways, we have a couple creature lands here. In a Cave of the Frost Dragon and a Den of the Bugbear, we have an Iganjo Seed of the Empire here for some interaction, and three mountains and six planes here behind my face. But anyways, I really hope you like this style of deck. I love this style of deck. And uh, enjoy the visio. In visio? <laughs> enjoy the video. About 60% of you are not subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button or hit the like button right up here. It says it. It says you should do it right up there, so you should do it with a smiley face. But I feel like that's more nice and forthcoming. But then you, you can also go to the bottom and click the like button as well. But anyways, it all starts. Right now. Just kidding. All is well in the world. Wow. Are you ready to get a Ganjo chat? My mind is ready. Infernal Grasp? Excuse me? Who plays that? I wonder what they have. A sword's new frosted gift. Guards, to me. You cast your wandering up for now.
All right, Luminarch Osprey gets to hit the... Uh, they still have Wandering Emperor, don't they? March. That's not a wandering emperor. Good hand. Good draw. Probably trying to trick me that they don't have Emperor, but I think they still have another one. I was like, wh why else would they what, would they get rid of the other one, right? I freaking knew it. That's why I never cast this. These cards are so good. Doomscar. How are they still at 20? Good lord. Oh, that's right. They've removed everything we've played. Show them how we greet our enemies. They have Doomscar. I'm just going to do this. They're splashing blue. Oh, they're playing Kaido. Okay, it's just Esper. Whoa, third Emperor. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Arsonist is a house, but it I would rather I would rather do that post sweeper. And I want to get this out of range of Meat Hook Massacre. Meat Hook, Meat, Meat Hook for two would just destroy me. God, now they can do it for three. Okay. Now I do arsonist. Soul Shatter. I know. How are they? I wish I had the curve my opponent did. Bet you can't catch us. You ain't drawing cards for free. Fourth Emperor win? I know, they've already been through three of them. Alright, are you ready for this removal spell off the top that they just drew? How did I know?
You're gonna draw out of stuff off the top at some point. Really? Ugh. Frustrates me so much. Wondering as a combat trick doesn't really do anything. It just gives them Lolf again. It just puts two counters on Lolf. I need to draw Kumano faces Kakazan off here. Kumano. Kumano. Thank you. It was the first card. Did you forget it targets Planeswalkers? Uh... Just don't have anything else busted, opponent. Alright, Kaido down. Planeswalkers are down. We've got through, we went through three Wandering Uppers, Kaido, Lolf, what else you got? Freaking Doomscar, freaking Double Vanishing Verse, March, Meat Hook. Alright, at least I have my creature land. Bankbuster, that's such a good card to have right now. Can you calm down, opponent? Removal spell. Wow. Double activate? I want to hold up Wandering Emperor in case they draw another Meat Hook or Sweeper. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. Scoop, 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 scoop. Okay, this is good. This is good for me. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Look at all those cards. I need even double activate. You activate it twice. And then it makes two one ones. Let's go. This is what we love to see. If we can draw land. Oh my goodness is this hand. Bananas. And I guess I just want to go like this first, right? 
So I, my Thalia can become a 3-2? In the case that I don't draw a land? Ooh, Vanishing Verse Tribal. At least they can't Vanishing Verse when I do this. So they Vanishing Verse this in response? No Vanishing Verse. Could have Blood Chief's Thirst. Another Kumano. I mean, at least we can cast the cards that we're drawing when we're not drawing lands. That's always a plus. Wow, it is a Vanishing Verse. Bodied. Alright, so I'm going to do this and then hope to draw an untapped land. And hope my opponent doesn't body us by just hitting their land drops. Looks like another... Okay, there we go! That was by far the best draw we could have, could have drawn. Go ahead and bind their spells, huh? Well, if we do this, they can just kill it with Blood Tithe. We could Skyclave this. This becomes a 3-3. Three, three. But then if they kill this... Then they can block this, and I don't really like that. Then they can meat hook for three. I don't know, meat hook's a pretty big deal next turn. Let's just do this and try to hit the meat hook. Second verse. Double deadly dispute. That hurts. That's actually busted for them. Please play a four drop. Reese Fang? the unexpected, I guess. They're a Mardu vehicle stack. Exciting. I mean, I have a Mar Mardu vehicle stack on this YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. I was not expecting greasing. Oh my gosh, is this my deck? I played Chariot in my deck. No, because right, because I didn't play Dead the Dispute. Gosh, they just they're going off. They're going off! How do I win? And if they, if they attack and they're Wandering Emperor, they can just deadly dispute the thing. So if I attack, they just, like, double block this? I guess that's okay with me. Does this mean they actually have Meat Hook or like another another Chariot? That would suck. I guess they can't cast another Chariot anyway. Whoa, tapping double white? What if they draw Skyclave? They, they might have gotten auto-tapped, chat. 
Six mana available. Five mana available. Get the dispute the chariot? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I mean, I guess they can bring it back with Breeze Fang, right? Buster or Harvester? Probably Harvester, because if I, if, I if I take the Buster, Harvester can kill my thing anyway, and this deals four damage, and that's a lot of damage. Please don't meat hook me. They definitely have me. They, they have meat hook in their deck. It's a matter if they draw it or not. But, like, I have Dead of the Bugbears here, which could... Hold me over. Ah, I realized they got auto tappered last turn. Person of culture, Matt Lad. Okay, cracking blood token main phase, always good for me. Maybe flooding. Ooh, a braid, that can kill this. I can also cast both of these. Nice. And even if they try to ambush my apparition, I can abrade the creature. Yes! Plus one, plus one. Wow. Good hand, good hand. Hello, good game. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Woof. Whoa. Sure. I trade my one drop for your Luminarch. Whoa. We're going to get to cast this on curve, but hopefully they're dead before that. That was a great draw. They're at three. What you got? Hey, dead. Hey, dead. Well, that one might have been the best draw on our deck. Magda. 
I would like to rip that apart. It'd be funny if I accidentally pressed destroy target artifact or enchantment, it would destroy my own Kumano. You will not have a Magda. Get your Magda's out of here. You will block. Please don't have Tamiyo safekeeping. Bolted Surge. A little bit of a yikes. One mana, deal with your opponent's entire board, Pog. Alright, if I draw a land next turn, I'm busted. Because this Arsonist becomes a 5-5. Five -five. Wow, opponent, can you calm down? Hello? We're busted. My hand's perfect. Or they have to have something cool off the top, right? They can only do like nine damage to us, Mac. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be nighttime, so I can kill this tutu. Did, do I win? Yeah, they're dead. Sick. Sacrifice. Alright. Freaking think so. What? What?
They don't have white mana. <laughs> Top deck white mana like a champion, of course, because why not? All right, here's the white mana. Play it. Rocks, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the subscribe. Appreciate you hanging out. Am I casting showdown here? No, because we can just boot up our creature land next turn anyway. It doesn't really matter. Ah, whatever. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Wow, we get to pass. We get to play our snarl untapped twice in the same game. We're busted. Do you want to face this Kakazan off the top, please? Thank you. Never lucky. I make them think I'm mono white. That's true decks, but at the same time, Snarls might not be better with Triumphs because you want to play the Triumphs on, on turn one anyway. Wow. Kumano faces Kakazan literally playing games with my life. I said it was on the top, then it was literally not on the top. It was the next card after. Well, that's not a creature. At least it's a card to play. This card up to two cards? Honestly, I think a rip apart and a braid are awful here. Well, those are better. There are things get exiled. Oh, I, I don't want shambling gas to kill my aspirin. Alright, please don't have meat hook. 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 They didn't have meat hook. I found the secret to be better at Magic the Gathering. All you have to do is cross your fingers. If you recall correctly, the top 10 most played creatures in Arena right now are white. That is true. Number one is Lum Luminar Casper. Number two is Legion Angel. Number three is like, what, Skyclad Apparition or something? How does hand smoothing work? It, it, in best of one, it gives you the best odds of drawing like your land, land to creatures ratios. Triple Kaido, Vanishing Verse, Wedding and Out. I can race the wedding. I can also do this.
You can confirm the updating untap means I'm not playing Kami War anymore. <laughs> That's true. I already I already saw that. I looked at it. I was playing Kami War for so long, chat. So long. Like 60 matches or so. Get in, get out. Looking for land? There's no secret Did not find it. Uncover. Land? Sometimes you're just lucky, chat. Today, I'm the lucky one. Are there any standard tournaments for us that you want to that want to compete that you know of, like how Red Bull used to be? Yeah, I have a standard tournament with the new Capenna, uh, new Capenna set coming out, Yeti Kong. And I'm doing that on this channel. It's gonna be 128 players. We don't have green mana. I don't know why they kept that hand. Please cast Hallowed Haunting. Thank you. Alright, here they go. Green mana, Generous Visitor. Still no green mana. Jeez. Alright, Jammers. If you made it this far, you're awesome. You're a real Jammer. You're part of the 5% that did so. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you made it this far. This is the list. We changed a couple cards in it. We uh, we changed the Legion Angel as we went by. We cut a Volatile, volatile Arsonist for it. And we added a couple Fable of the Mirror Breakers. But other than that... I know Fable of the Mirror Breaker we had in the beginning, but Legion Angel, we got destroyed by it, so I was like, well, this is a, a value-generating um, uh, mid-range deck, so Legion Angel seems perf like a perfect fit. Volatile Arsonist is honestly really good, and I wish there was room for more than more than one of this. Maybe I'll play more than one of that in the future, but I really like it. But anyways, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, you can catch this video right over here if you'd like. I think you'll like it. And as always, peace.